cambio frente, changing fronts. So really cool stuff that creates magic and tangle. All I need to do is put this step on the other side of this foot and pivot between them. And one more. Go ahead and put this step on the other side of this foot and pivot between them and wind it. The really cool thing about cambio frente is if I move this foot over here, it leaves a space for my partner to dance to right here. And she can dance through here. I turn and I can change directions. She can dance through here. I turn and we can change directions. It works the same on the other side. I move this foot, and she comes through here. I turn and we can change directions. For the lady, it looks completely different. And I'll show you that now. So the lady's part of the cambio front, it does look completely different. She steps forward, comes all the way around her partner, takes a side step, and gathers. And if he goes the other side, she steps forward the other way, comes all the way around her partner, and gathers. She steps forward the other way, all the way around her partner, and gathers. These are options. She can do the same thing over and over and over, it depends on what he leaves. Here's the magic. Was that in cross system or was that in parallel? Let's take another look. Which leg is John moving with and which leg am I moving with? Which leg is John moving with and which leg is I moving with? Which leg are you moving with, honey? I'm moving with my leg. And I'm moving with my leg. Now, I'm going to with my right. Wow. That's the magic of cross system. Anytime two rights and two lefts move, we have a different structure. This is the secret behind ultra portato. When we do ultra portato, this happens. The leader steps here. There's a rock step for her without me. And then she comes through here. And the line up there. There's this. If I do this just from standing, then I create a circular energy in the partnership. If I make this go around a circle instead of linear, if we go around a circle, then we go in a circle, switch the other foot. If we go in a circle, we both wind up standing on our right foot. Or we both wind up standing on our left foot because we're going in a circle as opposed to going linear, linear, linear. We go in a circle. Go in a circle. So just standing here, still I move this direction, and we're both on our right foot. I put my left foot behind me, and come on, come on. Or I can move in this direction. Now we're both on our left foot, we leave our right foot, our flat right foot free to do combo with me. I move in a circle this direction, we're both now standing on our left foot, and on our right foot. She's on her left foot, and on my right foot, raise your hand and you're on. Yes. The foot that you're on. She's standing on that foot, and I'm standing on this foot. That leaves these feet free to come around. Now, if I go in a circle that direction, both lines are standing on these feet. Show me, raise the hand you're standing on. Mm -hmm. She's standing on that foot. So since we're standing on opposite feet, it's the reach around. 